Hello and welcome to another episode of the Free to Play. And we're continuing on with the Zero to Hero event. But now we are done Solaris, so we don't have to deal with that anymore. But in the active events, we have two going on right now. Day 9 and Day 10. We got 300 ballistic damage in any mode. And we have 300 match score in any mode. So, play a ballistic mech and do somewhat decently, basically. Which shouldn't be that hard at all, as what we're gonna do is this is a fun mech that I haven't played in a long time. It's the Goss Kitty. We got a pair of Goss Rifles on our Catapult K2, and I, what we got here, the light through 250 engine, pair of Goss, three tons of ammo for each Goss, so tons of shots. We can take all of the speculative shots we want throwing things down range. Uh, I can't remember if you've gotten much skills on this mech as... No, we have not gotten any, as I have not played this mech very much yet, but I must change that. But for the camo spec, because a while ago they had that bug where the PC Gamer code was still working, and so I managed to get that on the free-to-play. This is the original PC Gamer skin from that... Oh god, that was a promotion in PC Gamer Magazine, like, oh my god, so many years ago, I can't even remember. It was ridiculous. It was like four or five years ago. But I managed to get that skin. So that works on the Jenner, the Hunchback for the IS, the Catapult, and the Atlas, as those were the four OG original mechs in MechWarrior Online. So we got that camel pattern, and for colors, we do have a few unlocked. And we are using those right now. So I don't look just olive green anymore. I actually have some some flair and some color. This is surprising for me. But let us head into some matches and snipe some people as those goss rounds. Oh my god, they're like aligned with a cockpit. So nice. If I can shoot them, I can. If I can see them, I can shoot them, which will be perfect. Let's get into a few matches and snipe some people with some goss rifles. And for our first match of this episode, we are on a Crimson Straight Domination, heading towards the circle at best speed, although we're not too terribly fast. We are a 65 ton heavy with only a 250 light. So, 60 kph is all we can muster, but that is okay. We do have our Gauss Rifles. I don't really want to get that close, as the Gauss Rifles are fairly fragile. I would like to do some sniping with them, please. We've got 725 range. We should try to use it. So let's see what we can do. Uh, seems like this Banshee is tanking for us. So let's move to the right here a little bit. We're going to tuck ourselves right up there, kind of like where that Hellbringer is, and see if we can do any snipes from that position. It is the enemy. Where are they? Oh, he's got all the lasers. Enemy right here, right close. Centurion. Okay, now we can just start to creep this edge until we can see an opponent over the ridge. Boom, get a hit into the Centurion. It's in his arm. Oh, behind us. So, somebody. Or is that just an ally doing some damage to us? It seems like that was just an ally. Okay. I thought a, probably a Piranha had gotten behind us and we were going to be dead in a couple seconds, but nope, just an ally. Let's again try to creep this edge here, try to find an opponent out. Oh, that was a horrid shot. His his shot hit me right at the right time to cause the cockpit shake in order for me to, to miss. Oh, there is a flea right there though. I so want to shoot this flea with my, my gosses. Creeping around this edge, looking for movement. Here we'll just shoot at some signals. That was a horrible shot because I'm <laughs> I'm not practiced, man. This is what I get when I only play every couple days now. Ah, ow! How's my arm? Ow! Why is my left torso already like red? Oh my god, this is painful. So much damage these days. This mech can't handle it. There goes my other arm. Me and this Hellbringer are getting her feet caught up with us. We're not 
doing that much damage to the enemy, which is unfortunate. Okay. Left torso is open. There's that guy moving across. There is an enemy in the distance. Ah, bad shot. God, I'm just putting all my, uh, my horrid accuracy on display. Thankfully, my allies down there are tanking for me, as I can start to now just take whatever shots I want. Come around this corner here. I don't, I don't see anybody over there that I can get a shot at. But it's three to six for the opponents. Things aren't looking good for us. As the enemies are eating our mechs. Damn, that flea's gonna come straight at me and get me. I'm dead. If I was that flea, I would just push this position. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot there! I thought I held it long and didn't. I thought I was releasing it before it was fully charged. Ugh, okay, I need a night vision here to see through that smoke for a second. Come on. Boom! Big old hit into that assassin. Right into his back. Good hit to him, and he's down. Ugh, damn, not enough depression there. Didn't game down far enough. I am not really doing that much work here. Oh, there is the rifleman. There goes my side. And there goes that weapon explosion. I only got one shot left. Boom. That's it. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of ammunition. Go ahead, guys, and clean me up. And that's it. 242 damage done. Eh, we're not doing that well so far. But we got another couple matches to uh, try to do better. Uh, let's see what the post game stats are like as it comes up here. 59, oh, 55,000 C bills. That was horrible. 242 damage done. Eh. But we did get some damage. We did get some match score. So we're making progress at least towards the event. That's all that really matters but on to the next match. And for the next match, we're on Ribolite Oasis Skirmish. Following up our team here, hopefully we can have a better performance than last time. I'd actually, you know, like to get a kill or two. It would be nice. But we shall see. As uh, we're moving forward, we could stick to the high ground and snipe, although probably is the best choice. I have a feeling I'm just I'm just not practiced right now with gauze sniping in order to land some of these long range shots. <sighs> well, let us keep going with our team. Ooh, enemy in the front. Nope. Looks like our guys up at the front are interacting with him. Whoop! Oh, that hit the terrain. God damn it! Stupid terrain. Let's see. Oop, there is already right there. Ah, oh, damn it. Just in front of me. Okay, I'm taking lots of hits. Already it's to crit damage in several locations. Why so much damage? Oh god. Okay. Moving with our guys here on this left flank. See what we can do. I don't have the torso for that. Let's go and maybe work the, the ramp here as that is probably a better spot for me. Oh, oh, enemy dropped down. King Crab dropped down. Let's try to get around this King Crab. Oh, I'm... I think I'm being too aggressive here. Yeah, there's a light right there. But there's the King Crab right there. We gotta, we gotta hit him. Boom, we gotta get hit on him. Right in the CT, help to out kill and there is light down here that is running away. Boom! Hey, we got a nice hit on him. The wolfhound, the grinner, getting out of that position as fast as he can. Let's continue on our mission here to work this angle. Keep moving up here. I might be able to flank some guys. Get some back shots. That would be nice. Ooh. 
this. Okay, flip it around. Locust is running away. All right. I don't know if he is gonna f circle back and try to get me though, because I'm afraid. I'm very afraid of this locust. Is he gonna come back for me? This is my little fight now. Cookie good, he's dead. Oh, there's also a UAV up there, so they know if I'm coming from this direction. Uh, I don't see any enemies here. I don't really have the ability to shoot down those UAVs, so I might just have to wait for them to time out. And sort of cover this flank in case anyone comes this way. Okay, UAV's down. I can start moving it again. Let's see, Hellfire. Both UAVs are down. I can move up now without being spotted. At least immediately. My team is getting destroyed. Oh, this is not good. Target spotted. New target Come around this acquired. corner. Hopefully be able to put some shots into people's backs. There is this guy. Boom, nice big hit into his CT. One more hit, he'll go down. Got him. Excellent. Boom. Got a shot off there, but it is too late. The enemy have too many people, and we are taking too much damage. Our Gauss Rifles are going to crit out here in a moment, because that is what they do. And we are going to lose this match. So, unfortunately... Not doing that well so far, as we are getting our asses handed to us. No point in putting up a fight there, as we were out of weapons. Again, around the same amount of damage, only 220-ish. The last one was like 240, and last is an AFK. So, last is AFK, or just a DC, I guess. Let's do DC. Uh, just say it's in G9, but, you know, nothing we can do about it. We will cut to the end of this match and see what the post-game stats are like when we get there. And the match is over with a defeat for us. We did get a kill though, which is quite nice. 223 damage done, 91,000 sea bills earned, and uh, yeah, it was a poor match all around for our team. Hopefully we'll do better in the next round. And for our last match of the episode, we're on Rubelite? No, wait, this isn't Rubelite Oasis. This is Grimplexus with Conquest. And yes, D Day, you're in the video. There you go. So let's move to the front and do some snipes. <sighs> Probably get ourselves onto the hill on G7 and try to lock down the Fox 6 area, maybe. That could be a, a useful strategy. Oh, it'd be so nice if this particular mech hit ECM. It would make this so much easier to uh, snipe with. Yeah, it would. But, in the meantime, we don't, so we have to deal with that. Hopefully we can break, say, 300 damage in a match. Lent was at 20 Gauss rounds. Can we do that? That would be nice. But I won't hope for everything. As I know, I'm not like the greatest at this game. I'm just above average. Let's continue moving forward. We have got Epsi and Gamma, which is typical. They've got Kappa. They're seemingly moving on Theta. The Rifleman... Uh, what is that one? Dowel? The DB? That's the, uh, that's the hero from the Solaris 7 pack. He is in a bad position. We gotta hit onto him just to get that kill assist. Enemy in the range there. I will happily put some Gauss rounds down at you. Oh yes, just give me wide open targets standing there. Thank you. Oh, this is glorious. Yes. Please. Oh, you moved at the last moment. Right when I was going to peg you as you were sticking out of cover, and then you actually walked out of cover and into the open. But this is good for us, right here in this ridge line. There's lots of enemies to shoot at. Oop, down we go. 
let our goss sing. This is exactly what we want. Oh, it's glorious. Oh, this is beautiful. This is exactly what I want from this gun. Hit the leg there. That's alright. Incoming missile? Or are we far enough away? Probably far enough away. You can't get a lock. Team is rotating right. I might want to go join them. I've sniped enough from that one location in order for the enemies to start being like, hey, watch out for the sniper that's in that spot, sort of thing. Get his leg. Piranha is dead without a leg. Oh, I love it when piranhas die. It makes me happy on the inside. Oh. Get him to waste some of his ammo into that radio tower thing there. And then I will try to sneak a shot right there. Oh. There goes that arm. Oh, a locust. Oh, you bastard. Stupid locusts. Boom, right into the supernova. And then back down to cover. Incoming missile. No, please, no. I no, no, I do not like missile. You can take that and go away with it. You can just eat goss. That's all you want. I think I might actually break my 300 damage this match. I've been doing quite well and getting lots of shots off. Come on, Mad Dog. Oh, hello. What was that? Something hit me. I didn't see anything, but something definitely hit me. Boom, right into that Kentaro's side. Took off his arm. That guy. You're too tall, man. I can hit you with that. Oh, right under his armpit. Damn, that sucks. But he's just, just tall enough for me to shoot over that building to hit him. Ooh, there's a locust on the left side. Hey! Just squeaked the shot off over top. Yeah, that was shot wasn't going to land. But, it's 5-2. Are we finally getting our first victory of this match? Like, of this, this video? That would be a nice thing to have is an actual victory. Let's continue moving around the left side here, open up this flank a little bit to some Gus rounds. Ow, that hurt. Let us get down into cover. Doze lasers, man. Good hit into the night, Jerry. I took something off, although I'm not sure what. Boom into the Hellbringer. CT is down to red, though. I didn't realize there was that much damage coming from his lasers. It just seemed like one or two mediums, not like enough to really hurt my CT. Goodbye, Mad Dog. And we back there. Oh, jeez, again with the, the damn lasers. They just seem like they're not doing that much damage, but they are. And we go down. But we did it. We did way better in terms of damage with 587. Oh, that's good. And we actually look like we're in the contention to win this match. As this awesome AQ. Go with your mass whoops. Get that supernova. Whoop his face off. Excellent. Oh no, the heat! There's the guy on the right! Get him! Get him! Yes, he's down! Alright, get the dire whale! Pound is back! This build is so hot! Oh, they don't realize he's there! Oh, he got him down with the overheat kill! We've got our pair of lights dashing around. Is that the end of our opponents? No, there is one more somewhere out there. And is he active? Yes, it is D-Day. Who mentioned us at the beginning of the match. 
Can you do it, D-Day? Can you win against our team? What do you have left? Who were you? And so we've got two lights that are going to cap. Go, ooh, he's he's capping epsilon. He's capping epsilon, guys. Come on, awesome AQ. If you get up on top of this hill, you have a nice long-range shot at him on epsilon. Get those ERPPCs downrange. There he is. He is in a shadow cat with a PPC and machine guns. Don't overheat yourself, man. As the shadow cat's coming in, oh, the overheat goes down. These machine guns are starting to rip apart. But it won't be enough with our three mechs we have on the field. While it was a good attempt D-Day, unfortunately, things aren't going to go well for you, as we probably have enough to take you out. And this guy's just reading. Let's uh, flip over to another one of the mechs. The Arctic Cheetah with just a few machine guns left is just getting free reign to do whatever he wants to the Shadow Cat, and it goes down. Good game to our opponents. We managed to have a good match right at the end of this video. Excellent. So let's see what the postgame stats are like. We got 225,000 C bills. It's funny that the two losses from before added together aren't even worth the win from this one. Not only do we have that conquest bonus, but we just performed much better with three kills, seven assists, 587 damage done. It really was that section where I could just freely shoot at the guys across the center where I got majority of my impact on the match. But let's exit out of here and let us gather up those rewards because we need to we need to accept the rewards or else they're just going to sit there and unless we accept them we'll lose them which is silly they should just inject be like hey you succeeded here it is automatically so you don't actually you know lose it if you don't pay attention but loading up the event browser active events both zero to hero We'll claim that, do 300 Ballistic, we did over 1,000. And Day 10, get 300 Match Score, we did over 800. Our complete future events, we've got two more of the Zero to Hero that start in a day or so. And so we've got 300 damage with Missile Weapons, <gasps> again, and three kills or kill most damage delts. So more Missile in the future, but we'll probably use MRMs for that. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.